students at the University of Oklahoma. When this F3 tornado struck Mulvane, Kansas five years ago, Steve Green saw it from a vantage point most never lived to tell about. I'll never forget seeing what I thought was a giant piece of broccoli coming at me, and as it got close, I realized it was a tree. What kept him safe was his own invention, the tornado attack. With military-grade windows, 90-some dashboard gadgets, weather reading equipment, and this. The vehicle can drop down in seconds when a twister approaches. The TA-1 is designed to park in front of the path of the tornado and suck to the ground and stay there and allow the tornado to pass. Air can't get under me. If the air can't get under me, it can't lift me. Therefore, it gives me a security. In the vehicle design, you can see traces of Green's previous profession as a NASCAR driver. But Mother Nature is the most powerful force on Earth and kills more people than racing ever will. That realization set him on the ride of his life seven years ago when he created this machine, now worth half a million dollars, to hunt tornadoes. Somewhere over the rainbow in the Wizard of Oz, if you're on the right side of a tornado and you're in proper position, there's always a rainbow. He hopes the data he collects will help scientists and forecasters. This tornado right here, 15 minutes ago I drove my truck inside. Back then, in 2004, his camera didn't roll. Within a couple of years, Green's mission had come to a standstill. Whether it was funding or health issues, we stepped back. This year, we're back. Preparing to stare down the eye of the storm once again. As, much, as strange as this sounds, I hope we don't see anything because people get hurt. And that's why we're trying to stop this.